Prior to working with microsourcing, we only had customer service from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. And one of our biggest problems is we're in uh, WA, so we weren't covering all the states um, with those hours at all either. So we had lots of problems both talking to our franchisees and our customers um, through our customer service channel. We now have customer service active from 8 a.m. across every state to 6 p.m. across every state seven days a week. And our customer service has increased dramatically. Yeah, I mean, one of the challenges with business, and particularly e-commerce businesses, is that when you're driving traffic to your website, it's not typically nine to five Monday to Friday. It's generally outside of business hours, and a lot of the traffic comes between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the night time. Um, in Manila, as far as labour laws go, from 6 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. of the night time, Monday through to Sunday, is standard operating hours, standard business hours. So you can run teams later into the night and service your clients and be very responsive, you know, to a high degree, um, without adding that extra cost. And not only the extra cost, but you, you literally can't do it here in Australia. So you just become more reactive to your clients, which typically gives you greater feedback, greater loyalty, all of those elements that uh, add a lot of value to your business. Yeah, so after hours, as part of the coverage, we've been able to extend that quite a bit, so, um, and very easily as well. We've also, I guess Australia, there's quite a few time zones, so Western Australia is three hours behind, um, and so usually they tend to be left, um, left in the lurch a bit. Um, Eastern Seaboard, uh, you know, closes up at 5.30 usually, and they're a few hours behind, and. I hear a bit of feed, customer feedback regarding that and they really do appreciate how um, we've extended coverage here so it's any during business hours in Australia, we, we've, um, you give us a call or email, we'll, we'll be able to answer that and solve, solve your problem. So they've really yeah, enjoyed, I guess, extending that, um, that after hours, it, it helps a lot, especially yeah, with e-commerce. I recently visited Manila and visited the team in Manila and I was so happy. It was. A uh, real revelation for me that uh, these aren't just people uh, on an email, these are real people and these are real staff and these are great people and they're so capable, it's just like the Melbourne team, uh, the Manila team are uh, you know, qualified, great people and can get a lot done so it really helped me build a trust factor even more to say I need to invest more in this channel. Absolutely. So having the team, um, I guess the, the key thing for me in terms of customer service is uh, empathy and that's it's hard to teach um, so when it comes naturally to, to the agents and, and to the people I've met um, it, it goes a long way to providing you know, world-class customer service um, in terms of English being um, incredibly well spoken here and in a lot of different places um, just around um, Eastwood where we're currently in the plaza and, and everywhere else it's, um, it's kind of very much second nature um, and that helps assist with obviously the Australians wanting to instead of um, yeah be able to communicate easily with with, this, with the team. So I guess the increase in service offering um, has been really helpful to in terms of speed as we've teams been able to grow and scale a lot more than we otherwise would have in Australia. Uh, the response times we've we've been able to get uh, uh, have improved, and that's improved our customer satisfaction. Um, by 10% over the last few months as well. Um, so a big kind of jump from, was averaging around 84% to, to 94%. Um, so it's, yeah, we can kind of see an immediate real impact uh, as the team's grown and we've gotten quicker at resolving the problems. Hi, my name is Kathy. I'm a customer service representative from Total Tools. As a customer service representative, my main tasks are to provide support and service to our customers and stores via email and phone calls. Uh, if I was talking to another business that's another e-com player that's growing rapidly, I would say definitely consider going with microsourcing, definitely consider offshoring. It lowers your cost, you get great staff, and it doesn't just mean customer service people, you've got a whole lot of other resources like analysts or graphic designers, or SEO experts, anything you need for your business, you can get at a fraction of the price with, that are just as good stuff as, as Australia and you can grow rapidly without the cost of growth.